subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. So did you just pick up a OnePlus 6 or are you planning on picking one up? But you're like, how's the camera really? Like, what is the camera about? on this phone. So let's talk about the improvements here. Basically, you have a dual camera here, 16 megapixel plus 20 megapixel. The megapixel count, don't take that too seriously. What really matters here is the sensor size. This upgraded from one over 2.8 inch on the 5T to a one over 2.6 inch. The smaller the number, the more light that comes into that sensor. Huawei P20 Pro having the biggest sensor on any smartphone right now. Um, this one is an upgrade over the 5T, however, so it takes brighter photos in low light and in the daytime 27 millimeter focal length and ois is on board with eis so this is a very stable camera as well in video and in you know just regular photo taking here so it's a nice improvement in some key areas over the 5t it also can do video in up to 4k 60 frames per second which is basically what the iphone can do is what the galaxy s9 plus can do and it's very smooth and looks pretty nice overall i've tested it already and also it can do 720p at 480 slow-mo and the new 1080 240 fps at slow-mo as well so it's slow motion abilities it's 4k abilities have improved plus its stabilization has improved over the 5t which are huge critical areas that make an overall better camera experience and i can tell you right now without even testing it against other phones it's definitely improved over the 5t quite significantly because of those few hardware changes now the second camera is a 20 megapixel f17 over and then a one over 2.8 inch sensor now that sensor that second sensor is actually have a wider aperture than most other flagships so it's a pretty good low light sensor on the second one as well now on the front here of the uh, six here you do have yourself a rather weaker camera it's a 16 megapixel camera on the front lens it's up there in the notch and you do have yourself one over three inch f 2.0 eis 1080p so it's not 2k on the front camera but let's go into the software settings and take a look at this before i show you the samples i have taken i've taken over 90 photos over 10 videos with this thing we're going to use the beautiful pixel 2 for this sample so very simple software you come in and you just fire away it takes photos you hold it down for burst mode right here so just hold it down and you could burst like that you hit this and you have your 2x you can zoom in more for digital zoom so you can do that just like you could do on pretty much any of the other dual camera phones right now up at the left you do have yourself your timer you do have yourself hdr auto hdr you have your aspect ratio which is nice everything is just conveniently located right here in the camera you can touch the focus here you can change the exposure and then if you go like or this is the yeah this is the exposure settings you can go ahead and come in here and here's where it gets really simple and you can go ahead and hit the pro mode and then you have everything nicely laid out you have your iso white balance shutter speed manual to auto and then more exposure settings right there. So, I mean, this just really cleanly laid out. Time-lapse mode, portrait, and then you have video, slow motion, and panoramic. Now, one thing I wanna mention about the slow motion is that it seems to be like you can record longer and it's a little bit easier to get slow motion on this, this really super slow-mo than it was on the Galaxy S9 Plus. Over here, 1080p at 240 FPS is also new. So you got some nice fun video modes in this one as well. The panoramic worked well as well. And overall, I think this has been a very clean and easy to use software experience. You can also access this camera anywhere just by double clicking that power button. And you could turn that off if you want, but you have that quick launch feature if you wanna do that. In addition to that, you can swipe up here as you can do with basically any Android phone to get into the camera there. And you can also take photos with the power button or the volume rocker, excuse me, as you can do with basically any other phone. So it's a really nice, easy to use camera experience, but how does it actually perform in the real world? Like I say, I shot like well over 90 photos. Let me go to the gallery so I can show you what I'm talking about. I shot over 90 photos in the past couple of days and I've shot over 10 videos. So there's plenty to see in here. I'm gonna show you the samples right now. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe for more. Be sure to leave your thoughts and comments on the samples here. Enjoy.
All right, guys, so this is some handheld front-facing video on the OnePlus 6. Now, it looks like it's a little bit close to my face. I got pretty long arms. It's all the way stretched out. But you can kind of see this is the kind of quality you're going to get from the phone. We're going to shift lighting just to see how it handles that. And it's a beautiful day out here. But, uh, yeah, that's what you're going to get. Let me do a little bit of walking so you can kind of see how this performs. And it looks pretty decent. It's usable. Um, it's not the best I've seen on the front, but it's not bad overall the shake is kind of violent but this is my handheld all right so here's some rear video with the 4k enabled this is downscaled there's my bike and let's go ahead and just take a little walk kind of see how the stabilization is right here and you could see from the viewfinder it looks a little bit wobbly but not too bad let's go ahead and take a zoom in here on my bike right there hit the 2x and you can see that's how it does with that 2x optical zoom coming out let me do a little bit of run in here you kind of see how it performs there looks pretty shaky on my end but still the colors look nice the video itself actually looks quite good though so you might need a tripod with the oneplus 6. all right so actually looking at the viewfinder that last video where i said you needed it on a tripod actually it looked way better when i looked at it through the gallery so when you get a one plus six when you're shooting it might look shaky handheld from the phone itself but when you actually look back at the video it looks much better so don't worry about it all right guys so there's a sailboat out there so what i want to do is go ahead and zoom in on that sailboat to see the kind of detail we can get on the max zoom and how it handles that so you can see that's what you're going to expect if you try to zoom in on something far you catch something like this in the moment and you need to zoom on your one plus six this is kind of what you're going to get in terms of the quality all right guys, so here's a rear sample of nighttime OnePlus 6 content. You could see 4K video. You can see there's the moon right there zooming in. Presents a lot of noise here at nighttime, but overall it's not too bad here. 
as long as you have a decent amount of light. And that's the rear at nighttime with the OnePlus 6. Getting a little bit closer here, you can see my bike computer. That's how it will look at nighttime if you do a close up. Not